Hello and welcome back to this Mercedes-Benz E-Class, 28 years old, just 1992, restoration of the panel work, um, the interior of the car and uh, the mechanics of the car are A1+. Uh, you know, the car has done very, very low kilometres or mileage. And uh, I was lucky to come across it. I'll give you a look at what the problem is with the paint. Okay, let's see if I can get this without getting too much glare from the lights. There you go, if I stand in the way. So you'll see this little tiny pit marks that have gone right through the paint, right, right through to the metal. It started rusting and it's all over the bonnet. I think this has been resprayed before. Um, you know, so I really don't know what's happening. But I do know in Australia, cars do suffer a lot with. Uh, if you, you see here, this is the uh, uh, top clear coat and it flakes off with the sun. It takes about 15 to 20 years to get to this stage. Of course, this one's 30, uh, 28 years old. But um, yeah, and, and it's worse on the the front guards and the the bonnet than anywhere else on the car. You know the car is pretty good everywhere else. Um, just odd little places like this here. Um, and I do have a quite a, a scratch in the side here, running through this panel and this panel here. But there's, you know, it's a little bit of surface rust with it as well. So we're going to get all that done. In fact, I'm going to do all the. I'm going to do the bonnet, the boot lid, and the door panels. Um, because I did the, the wings on the last video and you notice that they're a different colour. This is uh, Mercedes Cherry Red, uh, which I particularly like. So with this particular job, I am going to take this bonnet pretty well in the worst areas here, all the way down to the metal and uh, prime the whole bonnet and we will paint this one. So what I've done in preparation is, you know, protect the paintwork that you don't want to scratch or mark up in any way, hence the wings that we've just painted. And we will take this down with uh, abrasive paper on an electrical device. See where I was just starting to rub down here, and this is what I've got to get out. This is all the way down through to the metal, and there's a rust spot right in the middle of that. There's another one there, and I dare say there's probably some more in there as well. And you can tell that they they were all over the place. All these little tiny spot areas here, you can see. And especially over, over in the centre of the bonnet, these are little tiny rust spots that I've 
you know sort of got down to as clean metal as I can and I'm gonna have to now spray the entire bonnet with an what's known, known as a, an etch primer to stop that uh, you know sort of stop the rust in its tracks and uh, the only way of doing it is take it all the way back to the metal like this Orbital sanders are a great help doing this type of work and unfortunately for me um, the there was a, a repair and a repaint done on this whole of this bonnet and my personal view is it was half a job and uh, of course a lot of work now to get it all the way back down to the metal uh, because the undercoat was the problem and uh, start from the beginning um, when I'm hand sanding I reuse the discs that have come off the orbital sanders because the center of them hardly ever gets used but they, they make very good um, sort of emery paper to be able to do this by hand and you just can't get in this sort of area with an orbital sander so you do it the old-fashioned way I'm using a damp rag to make sure that there's no dust on here before I start applying the primer coat. So what I'm doing now is I have these quartz allergen um, floodlights. It's this two kilowatt of quartz allergen floodlight warming this panel up. Uh, you know, if it's a nice sunny day and still air and no dust, you know, the sun will do this for you as well. Uh, you know, you can do this outside, but it's going to be a still air day and preferably nice and sunny. Make sure you shake the can up well, a good five minutes. Okay, then just on a piece of your paper somewhere. Just make sure you've got paint coming out. Then start in the middle of the panel and nice even strokes. Not too much paint all at once. So I'm going to put about, about three coats, possibly four. Keep the can about six inches or as near as you can, six inches. So this is now the following day after priming this so and you know it's sort of semi matte finish but it's quite a thick layer um, four coats of primer on here uh, so now I've got to flat it what's known as flat in it and you do that with 600 grade paper uh, which is wet and dry and I, I use a cork block as well very easily
You don't have to press very hard. Just nice easy movements with it. Just to make it smooth. You're not trying to rub the filler out. You don't go down through to the metal. You're just trying to make it smooth. So I spent about an hour flattening this and now it, is, it feels like silk to touch uh, and it's perfectly dry and cleaned off. So now we start the paint process. I'm going to be putting about five coats of colour on this and uh, that's the type of paint. Make sure you can really well. Okay. So we're going to start on one side and work across. Don't try and get too much paint all on at once. Okay, so that's the first coat and it's a little blotchy, you can see that because it's a very thin coat. So now I'm going to apply the second coat which is about approximately 10 minutes after I finish the first coat. And I'm under quartz halogen uh, heat lamps as well, uh, which speeds the process up. So I just want to start on the front here. On that front edge. You notice that can was spluttering a bit. Don't continue with it. Use a fresh can. That's what it should be like. Nice even spray. Okay, so this bonnet has had four coats of paint now and it was about 20 minutes ago that it had its last coat. So what you need to do is just find an area, don't touch the bonnet itself, but find an area where you know the paint is going to be wet but sort of out of sight and touch it and it should not, it shouldn't come off on your finger and it should feel so slightly rubbery. It's at that point that you put your gloss or clear coat on. And this is the clear coat that I use. So, and this is when the real magic happens. You can see that it's not exactly totally shiny. That's where this comes in.
Let's show you all the left. It's the line. And you have to go back. This is the real important one. Even straight lines. Keep the can moving. Otherwise you'll end up with a run. Start one side of the bonnet or the panel, work your way across. Well, there she is, a complete front-end makeover uh, over two videos. I hope you've enjoyed the series of videos of reconditioning the panel work on uh, the front end of this old Mercedes. I've put as much as I can into these videos, so as not to make it too boring for you. Uh, to show you that at home you can repair your own paintwork and bodywork. Uh, in future videos I will be showing you how to uh, repair a deep scratch which I have at the back panel up there um, and which will involve some grinding out which you can actually do by hand. Um, and body filler and repaint it. This bonnet reconditioning was quite a drastic uh, measure taking it all the way back to the metal but it absolutely required it and you know to do this bonnet has probably cost about approximately two hundred dollars if you went into a paint shop for this it would cost you two thousand dollars so it's well worth doing it yourself so i hope you've liked this series of two videos reconditioning the front of this car although it's only one wing <laughs> and this i did do the two wings um i hope you join me in the future for reconditioning this old Mercedes. So thank you for watching and please come and see some of my other videos on CNC writing and wood turning and it's bye for now.